Mano. It was the act of supremacy when a sense of an urge to find the superior way of living was manifesting in Eastern and European countries that our guardians birthed their little warrior. Every life was manifesting. During this act of supremacy, when a sense of urge to find the superior way of an urge to find the superior way of living was manifested. Our guardians birthed their little warrior who had followed his prana pathway to them from Varanasi, India. During an exploration of human beings recognizing afterlife possibilities, the UN discovered that it was being clouded by a superiority complex. It was then they suited him with the proclaimed name of Aryan Yoda, after the late Aryan master of the creator. During this act of supremacy, as during this act of supremacy, when the sense to urge, why can't I read now? It was during the act of supremacy when the sense and urge to find a superior way of living life was manifested. Our guardians birthed their little warrior who had followed his prana pathway to them from. Varanasi, India, during the exploration of human beings recognizing afterlife possibilities. The UN discovered that it was being clouded by the superiority, superiority complex.
recognized afterlife possibilities, and the UN discovered that it was being clouded by a superiority complex. And when their firstborn came into being, it was then they suited him with the proclaimed name of Aryan Yoda. He was named after our late He was named after the late Aryan who reconstructed the Universal Network into the Universal Nations and was Cassiopeia's honorary guardian. The name Aryan suited him well due to the rise of segregation of human beings. It was created to symbolize how a group of prana proclaimed themselves superior based on what they represented. Aryan Yoda was a reminder to all in his wake that all human beings are supreme and in all beings are brothers and sisters in their own representation. What we knew for his first few levels was human prana interacted as equals to the rest of the universal energy. Earthlings were equal to Marisians who were equal to any Andromedans. This altered by the time Arian was able to communicate with Arthlanes. Three forty-six. That's okay. This altered by the time Arian was able to communicate with Arthlanes. They had stopped contacting us as higher versions of their inner self, and they began to believe us higher than them, like omnip omnipotent gods. No longer did they seek guidance and tools. They now only came for solutions and forgiveness. Unfortunately, this is also the same time when the fears and greed swarmed through sealing off most of the universal gateways for creation to art. Unfortunately, this is, this is also the same time when the fears and greed swarmed through, sealing off most of the universal gateways for creation to Earth.
Okay, unfortunately, this is also the same time when the fears and greed swarmed through, sealing off many of the universal gateways for energy to return to the universe from Earth. It did not stop those who were curious. They kept reaching out against the attempts of the governing powers who wished for all the Earthlings to no longer look towards outer space at allies. And so the UN continued to return and consistently have human encounters. We have collaborated with select groups from Earth and created space events to different in different climates to accommodate for all the various different celestials to attend and under as undercover human beings serving as spacers a role given to those volunteering at the events at an event as a save and protect ranger Various different slit okay. climates to accommodate for all the various different celestials to attend as undercover human beings serving as spacers. A role to those volunteering at an event as a save, protect. To attend as undercover human beings serving as spacers, a role given to those volunteering at an event as a save and protect allies for
Save and protect allies. As celestial earthlings reincarnated. Save and protect allies as celestial earthlings reincarnated. This is all I know based on my findings through from Arian. Arian's acute viewpoint. Based on his experience after his first Euro. Extraterrestrial united in relations. Extraterrestrials united in relations Extraterrestrials united in relating. Extraterrestrials united in reconnecting to oneness. Ha! Since Arian began his Euro training for Arth, he is no longer able to discuss his findings with me. As a spacer, you are held to be a guardian of secrets within the trade, and it is best not to reveal anything or begin a discussion that could lead you to risk your obtained knowledge to any outsiders of the Academy. The ultimate punishment for any spacer in revealing universal secrets is facing your own dishonesty. The ultimate self-inflicted punishment. Knowing this, Aaron and I promise not to let it get in the way of our relationship and we maintain a close bond throughout our advance. Our advancements and our levels. After he vowed secrecy to the Academy, on all our family crypts and star stories. And we maintain it close throughout. Knowing this, Aaron and I promised, promised, promised to not let it get in the way. Promised. <sighs> Aaron and I promised not to let it get in the way of our relationship, and we have maintained a close bond. It was during these times.
It was during these times Arian had a shifted mindset, but nothing had altered our closeness until this past Euro training for Arth. When I was admitted into the Spacer Academy as an early arrival, When I was admitted to the Spacer Academy as an early arrival, snap. I feel heavy. Oh, Arian, where are you now? Sense was the response I received. Silence was the response I received. Remnants of Arian hung heavy in my heart. I was incomplete with our relationship. I was steps away from Just a little bit away from the opening of the passageway. What was yonder? I hadn't a clue. Slowly, memory served to recall that all rooms led to the corridors. Feedy. What was yonder I hadn't included. Slowly a memory served to recall that all corridors led to this room up ahead. Yes, the Grand Corridor Terminal. From there I could gain my face and I... And I could head straight to my quarters. From there, I could gain my bearings. And I could, I could, where would I want to go? Click, aha, I would go straight to my, my quarters. I am sure any of my belongings left behind would provide me with clues. They must still be here on the ship. The buzzing,
What was yonder? I hadn't a clue. Slowly, the memory served to recall that all corridors led to this highly energized room up ahead. Yes, the Grand Central Terminal. From there, I could gain my bearings, and I could... I could... Where would I want to go? Click. Aha! I would head straight into my quarters. I am sure that my belongings left behind would provide me with clues. They must still be there on the ship. The buzzing of the energy was unmistakable. Echoes of frantic and indirect panic. Shouts were blurted out with no real designation, res designated receiver. Just impulsive spurts of uncontrolled energy. As I walked towards the maddening display, As I walked towards the maddening sounds coming from the supposedly elite minds of the universe, I cannot help but to ponder what may come next. I pause and reflect. What is next for me? I pause and reflect. What is next for me? My ally's voice returns. Radiant question, Sonda Light. Or should I refer to you as Susan Light? Susan. Link again. I choose to respond with whichever you choose. Now let me be. Now let me be for a while. I'm granted freedom with a with an as you wish. 
I'm going to, I'm going ahead to reveal my past as I walk away from those who understand my name. Understand my nature. I stand looking inward and quietly plea for a bit of guidance. I let go of wanting to figure it out by myself, and as the universe would have it be, I am gifted a cherished family traditional memory. 